now let us discuss about objects in javascript object means a real world entity a real world entity so anything that we will see in the world is nothing but an object if you take the example of house it is an object if you take the example of a laptop it is an object if you take a fan it is an object so if you take a person it is an object so anything that we can see in the real world is nothing but an object now let us see how we can create objects in javascript object name equal to within the curly braces here object means a collection of properties each property has a key value pair let the key is name uh, let the value is some sudhakar next let the key is number number let the value is some 72 next let the key is some salary where as the value is uh, some 70000 okay 70000 so this is nothing but object so here what is object name employee is the object name object is a collection of properties here we have three properties the first property is name the second property is number third property is sal each property is represented in terms of key value pair key value pair so what is the first property name so name is the key what is the value sudhakar if it is a string then we have to enclose them within single or double quotations next to second property name key is number whereas uh, value is 72 third property name is uh, key is salary so let the value is some 70000 okay uh, now let us uh, see how we can access uh, how we can access the properties so let us print them document dot write off let us print the employee name employee name is plus uh, here what is the object name employee dot in order to access the content of a object we use this dot operator emp dot name so now let us observe what is the output here what is employee name sudhakar so we will get sudhakar as the output So let us see what is the output. Let us see what is the output. The employee name is Sudhakar is the output. Now let us display uh, employee number document dot write off document dot write off. Use break line tag so that uh, the cursor will be placed in the next line. Employee number is plus emp is the object name. Whereas the property key is number. So now let's see what is the output. Employee number is Sudhakar. Employee number is employee name is Sudhakar. Employee number is seventy two. Now let us display the third property. So that is salary. Salary as employee salary is instead of dot we can use square bracket also subscript operator also employee of here we have to use the quotations. it may be either single quotation or double quotation we have to enclose the key within the quotation so employee of salary so what is the salary here 70000 so we will get 70000 as the output so we can access the contents of object we can access the properties with the help of the dot operator or with the help of square bracket subscript also but that property that name that key should be enclosed in quotations so now let us see what is the output here what is the output here so employee salary is 70000 now if we want we can have uh, 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 we can define methods also here uh, an object uh, properties may span uh, multiple rows also uh, so we can uh, place the content in multiple rows like this also uh, for more uh, visibility Uh, here an object may contain functions also an object may contain methods also let's see how we can define a function in an object uh, let name of the function is display display here the syntax is next we have to use colon 
it is a function so we need to use the keyword function we know that function means uh, it should accept some parameters here the parameter list is empty so empty parentheses next within the curly braces we can define the body we can define the body here in the body section in the body section let us display the uh, employee number salary and uh, employee number salary and uh, name also let us display that one yeah next uh, the next uh, here object is over next to call the method call the method so object name is obj dot uh, dot what is the name of the function display is the name of the function so if you call display function then uh, the display function will be called and the content of the object will be printed okay here what is the name of the object object name is emp so emp uh, emp dot display emp dot display so if you see here yeah there is some mistake is there let us identify that mistake so employee is equal to yeah let us close the function here the function is not closed here let us close the function after closing the function and object so then only we need to call the corresponding function okay first to close the method function and then close the object and after that call the function okay call the function if we observe here this is the output here so this is about objects in javascript so in this way we can create an object and inside the object we can create n number of properties as well as n number of functions and outside the object call the corresponding functions okay uh, here uh, if we want we can use uh, predefined objects also we have several predefined objects are there like math object string object date object document object window object browser object likewise we have several objects like several predefined objects are there in javascript so this is about uh, uh, objects in javascript